we've got game two between July and Phoenix. Right. And it's going to be on Zelnaga Fortress. Phoenix, the pink zerg at the right. And July's are going to be Ribosome on the south. Does it have an expiring tower? No, it does. Yes, it does. Interesting. Players yes. always making different versions of the maps. Yeah. Uh, we need to crack down on that. Yeah, but we got to put down the whip. I guess it doesn't really make that big of a difference. Um, just minor changes to the maps. So we're going to have to see how both these players open. I think uh, Phoenix, you know, counter cheesing July's cheese. Hmm. With some more cheese, I don't, I don't know, man. It's not really that, dude. Cheesy. Are you kidding me? No, making, no. making like twelve roaches off one base no, the, with no speed. No, the thing, the thing is, those Onaga Caverns is not a map you can play macro ZBZ on really easily. It's so I close. Agree. Ten pull is actually pretty common. Seven pull is really common as well. We don't actually know whether that was a seven pull or a no. Ten it wasn't. Pool. A t it was like a ten pull, I think. So it might have been a seven pull, dude. Really? Yeah. So that's the thing. I mean, uh, and I don't think Phoenix. <clears throat> Really was that cheesy? I mean, he just had a bunch of roaches. He produced a bunch. He knew that he had a timing to attack. And if he misses that timing, though, it's pretty much game. If he misses that timing, then he's basically contained, and he can't move out. Um, it's risky, man. It is risky, and that's the thing about it's ZBZ. All in. It, it, there's two ways to play ZBZ. Either you play the staple roach style with the fast expand, or you play the uber gambly, you know, snake eyes, ling bling, and just roll the dice. That was the super snake eyes roach all in right there yeah, off one base. Eyes. Yeah, that was pretty mongoloid. nasty. That was super mongoloid. Yeah. But uh, he did manage to take a very quick game one off of July Zerg. So, yeah. um, you know, I'm sure Phoenix will take that with no questions asked. Yeah. Regardless of how he did it, it's mm -hmm. done. Yeah. Well, we'll see if he can take a game two off of Startail July. July is going with, uh, let's see, looks like gas before pool. And Phoenix getting his pull up a little bit later than July. So not too much of a difference in their starting builds. Um, it does look like they're going to go with the Ling Bling style, though, for this game once again. Can't blame them either. It's a small map. I would expect Ling Bling. So you think both players are going to go with Ling Bling on it this looks, map? It looks like it, man. They're going to get speed right away here. Uh, yeah, Phoenix... Um going to get speed. Just a little bit behind, but... Uh, I think he has more drones to make up for that. No, he doesn't. Hmm. I don't know how he's a little bit behind, but he is. <laughs> yeah, both players actually going for the almost identical builds at this point now with uh, Lings and Queens and uh, Speed on the way. And look for the Baneling Nest to go down. Ribosome, aka July, throwing it down in the back. And there's the Baneling Nest coming up for Phoenix. So there we go. Both yeah. players are going to do some Baneling on Baneling micro here. And I love it when these games just come down to the wire. Yeah. Single Banelings make such a big difference in this matchup. And uh, it's just very intense. Yes. Very, uh, you know, teeth grinding kind of action in ZVZ I, when they both go Banelings. I had to ask my cousin how to play Ling Bling in ZVZ because I always go Roaches, but I wanted to play the high octane style, and he said there's really no way to play it. You just got to box micro everything. There is no control groups. You got to be like super alert and aware, and you have to be very fast. It's hard, man. It's really, really hard. Ryan actually control groups his individual banelings. Does he? And then just like hits the control group and detonates it if there's a bunch he of He actually on. manually detonates? Yeah, he's That's a boss, cool. dude. Yeah, for sure. That's his micro is cool. really good. He does ling bling all the time, too. Mm. That's like his go-to. You should you should sit down with him and have him show you because he's like really good at it. I will. I'll have to get some lessons. I've watched him do it, man. It's ridiculous. And he's really good about microing like single lings onto the banelings and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, here we go. Oh, it looks God. like July's are coming up with four Banelings. And oh, is Phoenix aware? Phoenix loses three Lings. Four Lings right there. Not cost effective at all. And the Banelings allowed to run right inside oh, the middle. Oh, beautiful queen block. Wall. And he kills off one Baneling, so only one Baneling here cannot kill off drones. Oh, it actually does Oh, wow. Phoenix drones. actually with a ton of Lings now. Mm hmm could potentially uh, counterattack here and do some damage. Yeah, but he took some drone damage he right there. He did lose three drones. He did lose three drones. I didn't think he was going to lose them to one Baneling, but he did. Um, and now Jelizer falling back into roach mode. He's gonna try to get four roaches Can he out. Can get up the ramp before the oh, bailing? Oh, this is bad! Oh, oh my, my god! god. Ooh, Beautiful that was timing. Bad. Yeah, that was bad. That's the thing about running Lings up a ramp, too. It's in the dark, and you don't know if a Bailing's up there waiting for you. Jelizer are gonna return the favor with those roaches from game one. Yeah, I know. Exact same build, almost, that Phoenix used on him last game. Uh -huh. So, uh, he's just gonna one-up Phoenix here and potentially 
yeah. do the exact same thing. Phoenix is going to scout these roaches, however, with his lings, maybe, if he decides to poke up the ramp real quick. Mm -hmm. There we go. Is he going to poke? He is going to go for the poke, so he sees those five or six roaches, and now he knows July that July gonna make his move. is going to make a move here with a lot of roaches, and so Phoenix has got to be prepared for that. I would imagine he's producing all-out lings, yes. He needs lings to make some spine crawlers as well, at least one. I'm surprised he hasn't put one down yet. He, he put the creep tumor down. He could put a, uh, a spine crawler there and then slowly work it towards the ramp. It's going to be so hard for him to hold the ramp. I don't know. With just pure lings, it's going to be really hard because Roach Bling yeah, that's what dominates I'm lings. That's what I'm saying. It's... Yeah. And here comes Star Till July. Uh, he's coming in with this dreaded push. More Banelings being made outside the main of, uh, of Phoenix as well. And Phoenix in a lot of trouble. He really doesn't have that many forces. He's going to have to perfectly micro his lings. And even that is going to be a long shot. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't put down a spine crawler, but uh, oh my god! Oh, all the links go down Jeez. to the bane links. That's game. That could indeed be game. <laughs> I think game. Phoenix is in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, Phoenix is done. I mean, why do you just attack move onto the bane links like that? It was just misclick. Wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it happens, man. I apparently. Yeah.